In the quiet moments of life when the world's noise subsides, we often find ourselves confronting the raw and profound pain of losing a wife. This is a profound experience, a poignant facet of the human journey. It's a reality that many, regardless of their background or life story, must bear at some point. The loss of a life partner, a confidant, a companion can unleash a whirlwind of emotions, profound sorrow, regret, yearning, even resentment. These feelings can be overwhelming, but it's crucial to understand that they are utterly natural. Each widower's journey through grief is singular, marked by its own unique rhythms and stages. It's okay to feel this pain. The feelings are completely natural and understandable. They are not signs of weakness, but a sign of what was uniquely yours. There is no right or way to grieve the loss of a wife, but there are healthy methods to navigate this unbearable pain. Grief, particularly after the loss of a wife, often unfolds in stages, each with its unique emotional landscape. The journey through these stages might not follow a linear path, but comprehending them can pave the way for, for healing. The initial stage is denial. The abrupt absence of your life partner may feel surreal, akin to a nightmare from which you are unable to awaken. It's as though you're ensnared in a disorienting fog, incapable of fully comprehending the magnitude of the loss. The second stage is anger. This overwhelming emotion can burst forth unexpectedly, ignited by the anguish and perceived injustice of losing your spouse. You might find yourself questioning this tragedy befell you and feeling a deep-seated sense of unfairness. The third stage is bargaining. In this stage, you may find yourself entwined in what-if and if-only narratives, as if attempting to revise the past to evade the terrible reality. The fourth stage is depression. This profound sorrow, unlike clinical depression, symbolises the silent aftermath of the storm. The world appears devoid of colour, and even the simplest tasks feel enormous without your wife's support. We reach acceptance. This isn't about being okay with losing your wife or forgetting your shared moments together. Rather, it's about recognising the reality and finding a way to coexist with it. It's about acclimating to a life that's irrevocably altered, yet remains filled with these stages do not form a strict sequence. Some might bypass stages, others might fluctuate between them. Everyone's grief journey is unique, reflecting their individual relationship with their lost wife. Remember, healing follows its own timeline, and it's okay to navigate these stages at your own pace. Grieving isn't about overcoming the loss of a spouse. It's about learning to live with it. It's a journey characterised by resilience, acceptance, and ultimately personal growth. While navigating the stormy seas of grief after losing a wife, having some practical strategies in hand can steady the ship. Mourning, for for a spouse, is an intensely personal experience. However, keep in mind that it isn't necessary to sail this storm alone. Seek the comfort of emotional unity. Out to friends, family, or consider getting help from a professional bereavement counsellor. Contemplate joining a widower's support group. The collective experiences and understanding can often lighten the burden of grief. It's completely fine to depend on others when you feel most vulnerable. Next, don't forget to look after your physical health. The pain of losing a life partner can have a significant impact on your physical well-being. It's vital to fuel your body with nutritious food, ensure a good night's sleep, and engage in regular physical activity. A simple walk around the block can do wonders for your mental health. Giving voice to your feelings in a concrete or creative manner can also bring comfort. Jotting down thoughts in a journal, writing a letter to your late wife, producing art or planting a tree in her memory can provide significant ways to honour your emotions and celebrate the life she lived. Moreover, keeping a connection with your departed wife can be a key part of the healing journey. This doesn't mean dwelling in the past, but finding ways to honour her memory in your everyday life. This could be through carrying on with shared traditions, revisiting cherished memories, or even talking to her in your private moments. The voyage of grief is not a destination, but, but a journey to embark on. Acknowledge that it's okay to have, and it's equally okay to have days filled with light. Remember, there is no right or wrong way to mourn. Each person's process is unique. Lastly, allow yourself yourself to live again. It's not wrong to find happiness, re-engage with life. This isn't a disrespect to your wife's memory, but a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the persisting power love. These strategies are not a panacea for grief, but they can act as a lighthouse in the darkest storms.
Grief is a journey, a winding path with hills and valleys, but it's a journey you do not have to walk alone. This is particularly true-true when grieving the loss of a wife. It can feel like an unending cycle of and pain. Yet, it's not about forgetting this grief or leaving it behind. It's about progressing it. It's about allowing yourself to experience the full spectrum of emotions, including joy, even while your heart yearns for the woman you loved. Grieving for a spouse doesn't compel you to forget her or to tuck her memories away. Instead, instead, it encourages you to interweave these cherished memories into the very fabric of your daily life, to carry them with you as you continue on your path, about learning to lead a life that's different, but no less filled with love and meaning. Remember, accepting the loss of your wife doesn't mean erasing her memory. It means discovering a way to honour her love and memory as you continue your own journey.